Hey, it's Adam Happen with Young Hollywood, and we are in the lounge today with the cast from Wayne Brady, the family remix. I'm just so proud I wanted to show the world my family. The core four, quick rapid fire questions. On a movie night, what are we watching? Uh, alone. Alone? Yeah. Bridesmaids. Um, vacation, the Ed Helms, Christina Applegate version. Good. <laughs> Mr. Wayne Brady? Oh. An old school classic, History of the World, Part One, by Mel Brooks. Funny, if we had a dinner party and it got to invite one celebrity each, who would that celebrity be? Beyonce. What? To apologize. You don't even like To, to apologize for, 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 you for, weren't always... for not being an early fan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you were an early fan, but now you are. Yeah, because. Man, are you a super fan? I'm a huge fan, but Miley takes the cake. I'm like the resident Beyonce fan. I, yeah. I'd invite Cardi B. Cardi. I'm like, that'd be so much fun. It said you took Beyonce, I'd invite Bo and Yang. But Ooh, funny, so that's funny. Funny. Dinner. That's funny. Dinner. And I wasn't making that face because I dislike Cardi because I, I love Cardi B. Okay. It, it wasn't because of that. Because I was like, I was just trying trying to think of what you guys would talk about. And it was like, okay. <laughs> a lot. Doing his so you know, stripper question. <laughs> I would want to learn what, like, you know. Oh, Wait, kind of why do you want to learn? Why, just the stripper moves? Everything, Everything. she's amazing. It's the hustle. I it's saw her hustle. at Coachella and she was amazing. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? I was she's like, dope. I would want to learn to dance from her. <laughs> Dad, who would you invite? Easy. President Barack Obama. Work. I would want to sit down mm. and talk to that man. And the cool part is, a little, a little brag, is I've met him a few times and I've performed for him, but to have him at dinner and they go, hey, brother to brother, I know my experience in the world, but what was it like for you? You were, for eight years, the most powerful man in the free world with all this stuff on your head. What's that like? Wait, but tell me, take me back when you performed for President Obama, the little boy in Orlando doing community theater, what was going through your mind in that moment? Uh, I'll tell you what was dope, is that little boy was on full display because I was in a bathroom in the Oval Office before we went to go perform. I couldn't tie a tie. I was an RTC for years, I used a clip-on tie. And my stylist on my shows would tie my tie. I couldn't tie a tie. My dad never taught me to tie a tie. I did not have my dad in my life. My barber, shout out to Buck, oh, Mr. Mr. Buck, this wonderful man tied my tie, showed me how to tie a Windsor knot in the bathroom so that I could go out and perform for President Obama. And that was a moment that I'll never forget because it all hit me, the convergence of, I just learned this life lesson from this other black man. And now I get to take myself on stage and perform for this man and say thank you. And it was really cool. That Lil Wayne would never believe. He would never believe that he could have gotten out of Tangela Park. Does Mr. Buck, did you get to tell him? Oh yeah, but just in case I didn't, Buck, thank you. Because now, ooh, can I tie a tie? Oh my God, the, my tie tying game is ridiculous. I can only tie one knot, but okay. it's a great <laughs> It's a good knot. It's a good knot. What's our go-to karaoke songs? I sit back and watch, I don't do karaoke. <laughs> Sorry. We're working on it. <laughs> okay. I don't have a karaoke okay <laughs> song either. No Cardi B? And I'm afraid of holding a microphone and singing into it. She has a beautiful voice. Um, I kind of, okay, I sing um, Pony by Genuine. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Easy, Just Once by James Ingram. It's an oldie but a goodie. And what can we expect on this uh, upcoming, the rest of the episodes in this season? I think you can expect a lot of laughing, some drama, a lot of tears. They cry so much. It's so cringy. Like I'll start crying, and I'll be like, "Mom, are you crying again?" There's a lot like, of this. Will, they cry. They cry a lot in between. In, a lot of, yeah. of tears. They, not me though, because I thug it out. But then <laughs> she thugs it out. Thug it out. Yeah, I thug it out. They cry a lot though. Could it be what, me? Can I say your TikToks, you dancing? I live for that. So good. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, you're such amazing dancers, but it's a family of people that have actually earned a living dancing. So, so now we get to have fun dancing. Miley doesn't like doing the dancing TikToks with us because we like to yeah. rehearse. It, it takes too long, honestly. It, it takes probably like two hours to do a TikTok with four of us <laughs> dancing. And for me, I prefer a swift five minutes. A swift five minutes, like get in, get out. <laughs> <laughs> and then she sends it. Yeah, exactly. Why people should be watching your show, please tell us. Wayne Brady, The Family Remix, why should you watch? Because what you're looking at right now, this is the face 
of a family in America. Found family, family that has found each other, that chooses to be together, ride or die. These are people that love each other. If you love somebody, be open and communicate. Yep, yep. Accept each other. And laugh. Yeah, and have and a good laugh. time. Make good memories.